there's a lot to read. Stop the rolling. Don't look at me, Taylor. Mm-mm, don't stare. What up, fool? Ah, uh, gang sh yeah. <laughs> Right? Just, ah, oh, Steve, I'm sorry. Taylor, don't. This is my, like, this is, oh, mama. I hate scripts. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on, guys? Jasmine Fitman Industries here, and we're gonna be talking about air suspension. So strap right in and make sure to subscribe. So air suspension, right? The whole thing, air suspension, the thing that goes shh, bom, shh, bom. You know, the whole, right, that. So you're gonna have companies like AccuAir, you're gonna have companies like AccuAir, D2, and Airlift. AccuAir, on one hand, makes just the management for the systems, and then you can have the whole shebang like Airlift. You have people like D2 who just make the, what does D2 make? And then you have companies like D2 that make struts and other companies that make bags for about everything else. So over time, the air suspension started from having a spring with a puck of air to it from a whole bag over the strut for more variety of going tsh, bomb, tsh bomb. If you didn't know that, the noises of air. Airlift used to go to different drag strips and install air suspension on the drag cars and run them on the strip to prove how well they performed. Then you have brothers like Dustin and Reno Hone that made their own air management for on their project car that end up changing the way people manage their air suspension. I know our generation didn't start air suspension, but the mini truck guys, oh my God, what am I even fucking? So air suspension was capable in some setups, but nothing compared to the lowrider and mini truck scene. You had your S10s, your little Chevys, your little tiny Tim trucks over there all running air suspension with the nice pinstriping, and that doesn't really end a sentence well. With all the nice pinstriping and trucks slammed straight to the ground. The community took air suspension and used it what it was really intended for, slamming the shit out of our cars. So AccuAir on the other hand was having great success with their E-level system of height-based sensors that would add what would they add? They'd add AccuAir on the other hand was having great success with their E-level system and began to see how crazy cool it was to have a height-based system that adjusted with the weight of people in the car. That's pretty neat. So air suspension is the talk of the town now and goes up with other trendy shit, like battle arrow, chassis mounted wings, wide body, and all just like the really, the really big stuff going on. Don't be fooled though, air suspension is still entering the market and according to polls and such that we've done, coilovers still run the scene. But air suspension is definitely something you want to keep your eye on, especially with Airlift announcing the new 3S system in a cheaper, more affordable way than the three-piece system. So what do you guys think of air lift? So what do you guys think of air suspension? Make sure to drop a comment. If you're looking for wheels, tires, and air suspension, make sure to go to fitmentindustries.com. And I'm Jasper for Fitment Industries, and I'll see you later. Peace.